Good afternoon, Brian Cuglin. Yes, Noel, welcome here today for the Division 3 Under-16 Grand Final, the Leading Image Photographics Cup between Ocean Grove and North Geelong. Yeah. Umpires for the big game here today are... Uh, well, that's a good question. On camera we have Matthew Cox, Brian Cogman, Noel Fangs, Cat Callers. As we see the ball bounce for this uh, game here today. North Geelong take, take the ball forward. And uh, taking the first mark of the afternoon is Bradley Greenwood. He kicks the ball in the centre half forward to his teammate in uh, Mitchell Troy. Troy, North Geelong's Troy, has got the ball at centre half forward. Too far out to score. He's gone for a lead and he's got there. It was just a lovely kick and a lovely lead. And we see Bradley Greenwood, who's taken his second mark for the afternoon. He took the first one, ran down, let out, and he has taken a mark. And he's uh, got a shot on goal and he'd be 25 metres out directly in front. So he could uh, register the first score here in this under 16 Division 3 grand final. Lachlan Rowe and Andrew Nolan are the central umpires here today. I wonder if he's in relation to the moose. The moose. The ball wasn't quite low enough, and there's a good mark taken into fix by the other 19, who is not listed, Brian, for oh, not another Ocean one. Grove. We'll have to chase that up. That's not good enough. Another fine for the uh, club, I'd say. And anyway, coming through Shane Walsh for North Geelong, who picked the ball up, and I think you'll find it come off the side of his left boot and went out of bounce on the full. And Ocean Grove have got the football deep in defence. Kick the ball out to the half-back line, fall on the pack fly. Nobody can take the mark. Coming out for North Geelong that time was Cameron Fletcher. He kicks the ball up to where we see Guy O'Keefe standing firm in defence for the grubbers. Ball's kicked back to the half-forward flank. Oh, big, strong mark. Big fella there took the mark. I think that's the number 30 Guernsey in Murray Hodgman. He kicks the ball forward. But uh, North Geelong stand firm and through uh, Jay Turner. Turner gets a handball to his teammate and his teammate is inadvertently dumped. But the free kick will go to John Westman for the grubbers. Westman on the wing here at Osborne Park. Kicks the ball out to the half forward flank. Nobody can take the football, but running on to it uh, for North along with Campbell Fletcher again. He kicks the ball further forward. Oh, the ball's punched clear. That lovely punch too, that was. Deft little handball. He's been caught. No, he got his kick in the boy from uh, North Geelong in Daniel Key. And I think it was Daniel Key that had the previous kick too. Anyway, the ball has now come out to Christopher Marslin. Marslin, using his pace and agility, gets the ball up to the forward line. But Ocean Grove, Sean Frankenhausen. How's that? Yeah, the Frankie Housen. Uh, stood <coughs> firm in defence for the Grubbers and the ball has been rushed. Interesting to note too, Noel, that North Geelong finished on top of the ladder with 56 points, equal with Ocean Grove on 56 points. So, once again, there'll be nothing separating these two teams at the end of the day. But I do believe maybe these Ocean Grubbers that may get up. But I'll tell you what. Number 19 for North Geelong. Bradley through. Greenwood has kicked a goal out of the ruck contest to give draw first blood here this afternoon. North Geelong go one goal. Ocean Grove get to score. So who's uh, who's favourite here? I'm going for North Geelong. No, you you go first, Pete. I'll go Ocean Grove. You go North. All right. We have to differ. Interesting to note too, Noel, that. Um, the captain of the North Geelong side, Luke Van Kariken, has kicked 25 goals, but Bradley Greenwood's kicked 36 and won the leading goal kicker for the under-16 Division 3. I've got a funny feeling of Bradley Greenwood. The number 19, another St. Joseph's student. Another St. Joseph's student, which you've taught. Another ball forced forward that time by Ocean Grove. It's a centre-half forward. Nobody can do anything with it. The umpire has put a whistle on play, and he's deemed to pay a free kick to... Uh, that number 13, Guernsey, I think you'll find in Jared Cox for North Geelong. Kicks the ball up to the centre forward position. Nobody can take the mark. Chipping in, reading the ball off the front of the pack was Nathan Irwin. He kicks the ball up to centre forward. Oh, the big Dropping ball. a mark there was Joe Westman. Ball comes out. North Geelong are in there looking forward. Uh, 
working hard. Ball's kicked out of the pack up to the forward pocket, but it's going to beat all players over the line. And Daniel Key takes it out in front of the North Geelong Club rooms here at Osborne Park on a beautiful afternoon for football on a Sunday afternoon for the grand final between Ocean Grove and North Geelong in the Under-16 Division 3 leading Image Photographics Cup. Ball's thrown in, nobody can do anything with it and it's piled on top of everybody. It's the central umpire says, give it to me boys, we'll start again. The ball's thrown up in the air. Up they go, North Geelong get the tap down. They kick, get it away, can't pick the football up. Number nine for uh, Ocean Grove can though, Joe Wils, Jake Wilson. And he kicks it down there and it's not quite long enough, I don't think. Point on yes, it is. It went through yeah, for, went a point through for a point to point. Ocean Grove. So, Young Matthew Jones, the number five for North Geelong. His father is a legend of local North Geelong and GDFL football, Daryl Jones. His young lad, Daryl, is a legend out here at Osmond Park, the coach of the North Geelong Football Club. Is that his boy out there? Yes, and also an interleague champion, interleague player and Neville Whitley medalist on t two occasions. Well, actually, uh, they've named the um, trophy after Sid, haven't they? They have, actually, yes. The Daryl Jones Hartley Cooper Hartley Trophy. Hartley Cooper Trophy, that's correct. Uh, real, one of the nicest men you'll ever meet in local football, Daryl. Christian Bowl, his father Carlo, was an East Belmont football champion, a past president of the East Belmont Football Club, Carlo Bowl. And Jack Hall, his brother Sam Hall, is a champion cricketer for the Geelong Cricket Club, now with North Geelong Cricket Club, who came through with Daniel Fanning down at Geelong, who is also a champion Geelong cricketer and leg spinner. Right, OK. The ball has been held onto by Ocean Grove, and I think you'll find Luke... Van Quingen, the captain for North Geelong, gets the free kick. He punches it up Record. to uh, Record. Uh, this half forward line. The ball comes up to full forward where uh, Ocean Grove defenders are working very strongly. Jack Brown kicks the ball out for Ocean Grove to the wing. North Geelong, though, kick it back in through Greenwood, kick it back into the, set, into the centre of the ground, up to centre half forward. Nobody can take the mark. The defence again for Ocean Grove. It's coming back in towards the centre of the ground. Where uh, the number 18 Guernsey, uh, Dean Rockow, gets it across to his teammate in Adrian Rath, whose kick was smothered. And the umpire says a ball has to be given back to... I think you'll find Shane Walsh has got this free kick, yes. And uh, the umpire deemed he was being pushed, but he didn't have it. He kicks the ball in a centre forward for North Geelong. Good use of the body that time by Luke Van Rickian, the North Geelong captain. Gets the ball, could do anything with it, but Ocean Grove can. And uh, the ball spills off the hands of the pack where we see uh, Bibiano kick the ball forward for the grubbers. And uh, was it Bibiano or was it Rockow? Hang on. Wrong or no. Dathan Irwin it was. Now that'll be uh, Rocky's son? Yes, it is, actually. Yep, my word. Nathan Irwin. <coughs> Nathan Irwin got the ball forward. That's the band there's the boundary throw in. Ball's punched clear. Back to work where Irwin's working hard. He can't do anything with it. Awkward bounce there for the grubber boys. There's plenty of uh oh. I thought the umpire might have blown the whistle before it went out of bounds then. I don't know whether I was right or wrong. But um, Sean Walsh was a, Shane Walsh was a bit uh, complex by it too. Anyway, nobody goes nobody takes the ball out of the ruck, but Dean Rockhouse says I may as well take it and he tried to burst his way through the pack and was grabbed but the umpire said, Give it to me, he had no prior opportunity. So he's gonna throw the ball in the air. Up for North Geelong, you'll find is Anthony Armistead. But uh, Ocean Grove get the ball, kill it, kick it up to their half-forward line. And coming around the corner was Jake uh, Basterfield for the Grubbers. And the ball has gone over the boundary line in front of the North Geelong club rooms here at Osborne Park. And it will be thrown in. Yes, in the uh, forward pocket here for the uh, Ocean Grove boys. They're into attack. And there you go, the big fellow in ruck there for Ocean Grove is Jacob Naby. Tries to get it down, the umpire says, I'll throw it in. Actually, young Jake Basterfield, number two for the Ocean Grove Grubbers, has kicked 27 goals for the season. 
and only about four points. He's a magnificent straight kick for goal. If they can get it up to him, I'm pretty sure young Jake can put them through. That's what they'll be looking for, Ocean Grove. So who is favourites in this game, Brian? Well, it's an even money bet, I believe. I think Ocean Grove might start uh, just the favourites, but with the way North Geelong was Anthony Armstead, his father, Billy Armstead, was a legend of footballer, one of the tough men of local football. Well, Jacob Nabby got the ball forward, and there was an interference there on... Uh, Joe, John uh, Westman, Westman, and uh, he's now got a shot on goal with his left foot. And I'll tell you right. what he's done, he's right gone kick. bang. Thank you very much. Great kick. The Ocean Grove crowd go wild. The cheer squad down there. You see the red and white streamers? Well, yes, they got to have something to cheer about this year, don't they? Yes, they got beat yesterday in the senior grand final. They won the reserves, I see, but I think they No, they didn't. Oh, they didn't win the reserves. Amateurs won the reserves by point. Oh, did they? And the under 18s, I think it was. They got done it all. They lost a lot. Well, we better have something to cheer about tonight. That's what I said. You've got to have something to cheer about. <laughs> Fair enough, too. <laughs> we've got to get one cup down to Ocean Grove, sure. Well, we've got to, we've got to engineer it so that happens. <laughs> Back in the centre, the umpire throws it up in the air, and they go in the ruck. It's uh, Guy O'Keefe for Ocean Grove. Trying to, here they come again, the, the grubbers. Running through the centre there with a long kick down is uh, Jake Wilson. The little banister they're looking for him, the little sleeve, little squirt, he can get the ball, no he can't. His teammate picks it up there, oh, and, good um, Jack kick. Brown, Jack Brown bounces one. Bad luck, Jack. Jack's just missed it, I think it's a point. Check the score here, Ocean Grove go on to 1-2-8. North Geelong at one goal, and we have played just about two minutes, uh, 12 minutes into the first quarter. Coming up from Hamble over the top there, finds his teammate there in Mitchell Troy. Troy up towards the centre wing, a good punch on there by the North Geelong lad in Armstead. His father Billy would be proud of that punch on from his son as the boys oh, get good going smile, hard. It's fantastic. Armstead finding hard, Ocean Grove get the ball. Oh, I tell you what, he's kicked it out of bounds, I think. He's sort of given up before he kicked it, hasn't he? Yeah. The free <laughs> kick will go to the North Geelong side and it's to be taken there by Bradley Greenwood. Another famous name out at the Osmond Park. Greenwood drives along up into the full forward zone. At the back of the pack, North Geelong, the long sleeve boy picks it up. He ducks, gets under, falls over. That's Dean Rocco. Ocean Grove desperate in defence as they clear the ball off, soccer off the ground. Little fella there for Ocean Grove, Matt Barry, can't get it. Stacks on the mill, the umpire will have to ball it up, I'd say. He will. Ball it up with just in North Geelong attacking zone. Throw up, in they go, up in the air. Ruckman go in, it's um, Jacob Naby. Picked up there by the North Geelong player in ooh, a high tackle. He's called play on, he's got the kick away. Bad kick straight into the arms here of Adrian Rath. Rath for the Magpies. Plays on, kicks out wide, looking for his teammate out there. Can't get the ball. Following it through for Ocean Grove, coming through hard, a soccer off the ground. Up towards the centre wing in the glue pot, North Geelong going hard. I didn't think he had it. I thought that was a pretty yeah. Well, down to Jay Turner, I thought he would have kicked in, but there they come. The North Geelong Magpies are away here through Cameron Fletcher. He drives along towards the half forward line. A great mark in defence there for the, the blonde bombshell, Jackie Brown, young Jack. Great mark. He comes across the other side, <coughs> looking for a teammate out there. He can't mark the ball. But I'll tell you what, little little fleet Daniel Key, Malcolm's young lad, comes through, gets the ball, fighting for the ball. He can't pick it up. North Geelong. Here's a chance. He gets onto his. Christopher Marslin swings it around. Great tackle. Dung Darrell Jones's boy. Can he get it? Young Matthew. Oh, intercepted by Ocean Grove as they clear out to the outer side. Balls in, picked up again. Short kick. Boundary line looms up. The umpire says no. Free kick. Always out of bounds on the full. Yeah, I tell you what. It's a bit strange that one, but anyhow, Ocean Grove got the kick. They drive it up to the centre wing. The back of the pack, it's Cameron Fletcher. Tell you what, uh, Cogsy, Key, Jones, Moroni, there's some uh, oh, legendary. North Geelong legends here. Oh, they're legends of North Geelong, of course. And Dick Philpot's still in the canteen. Yeah, we can't up. get him out. We Looks can't like... get him out of the canteen to come up and do some coffee. I we'll get him through the door tonight. He'll be oh, stuck in there. It's Happy Father's Day, too, Dick. <laughs> As he finishes off his 15th chocolate donut before the cheesecakes come in. What we've got happened here, we've got a free kick to North Geelong. Yeah. Ocean Grove. Yeah, number six it is. Number six. Now it's Chris North Geelong. Marsley. Oh, he's taking the mark. It's going to be the captain of the North Geelong side, Luke Van Rieken. I'll tell is you it? what, this boy can kick. I'll give you the mail. Yeah. You just about pencil this in. 
Can he kick that far? I think he can. He's a well built fella, isn't he? Yes. Luke Van Rieken. David James told me that he's been teaching him how to kick since he was an eight year old. And Dave is a legend out here at the North Tyne Football Club. So this will go straight through the middle. The left footer, bang. Straight through the middle, all right, between well, the goal post and the That's another post. one which we've dug at it completely. Well, you keep quiet, Cogs. You put the moz on these young well, fellas. That's fair enough. Played 16 minutes in this first quarter of the uh, leading image photographics cup, Division 3, under 16 grand final. And there's one point the difference, Brian. The score is 1 2 to 1 1. No, one goal. Uh, 1 1 1 1, seven. one, one, to, one, one seven to 1 2 8. 8. One point. Here they come, the Grubbers are into attack, up towards full forward. In the front of the pack, he's got it, the big fella. He's marked it, yep. Callum Vale, I think it is. The big Callum Vale's marked, the big fella. I don't know about his kicking style. I'm not going to even mention how he'll go with this. Don't know him. Don't know him. I'll oh, tell you what. Cogsy. How do you feel? The Ocean Grove crowd are roaring because he's put it through. Put it through for the grubbers. As they go on the leading image photographics guest video scoreboard here, Ocean Grove are 2 2 14, North Geelong 1 1 7. As we now played. Nearly 18 minutes, which is the siren is about to sound, I would suggest, in this great first quarter of the Ocean Grove North Geelong Leading Image Photographics Under-16 Division 3 Grand Final. Umpire throws it in the air. The whistle's gone. The boundary umpire said. One of the Ocean Grove boys has run over the line, so the free kick will go to Osburn Parks North Geelong. Got to kick it long, son. He does. That's, he drives it up uh, the centre half. Anthony forward. Armstead has got the free kick. He must be their ruckman. Smart drop, but he gets Green, Greenwood gets the kick over out the other side of the ground, coming through hard there. A handball over. Play-ons are called. Is that North? Oh, Jack Brown. Over the top here, Ocean Grove. Here's a chance here for the young fella. Can he run into it? <coughs> Can't get the ball away. Defending well. Strong play there by the guy O'Keefe. Gets onto the left boot. The big fella. He fell over. Can he get it again? Callum Vale. Callum Vale is going to get a good handball out here, but they're desperate defence north along. They're trying hard. Great handball out. Oh, he's fell over. You've got to get rid of it, son. No, but he yeah. tackled him. He fell over, I think. Wraithy. Wraithy. That's right. Here he goes. There's a chance. It's Jake Wilson. Got it across to O'Keefe. O'Keefe kick was smothered. It's now in the arms of Wraith. Wraith kicks the ball up for uh, North Geelong. Uh, nobody's really there. Coming across properly for uh, Ocean Grove was Barry. Barry's butted up and gone after it again, but backing Barry up was Campbell Malloy, and I'd say that would be Jared Malloy's little brother, wouldn't it? It would so, my word. And uh, Jake Wilson had the football and couldn't do anything with it as the, the siren. siren sounds to siren. finish the ter first term here at uh, Osmond Park in the under-16 grand final. Checking the score, we have at quarter time Ocean Grove 2 2 14, North Geelong 1 1 7. And the goal kickers, the Ocean Grove 2 goal kickers are John Westman with one and Jacob Naby with Bradley Glenn with the goal kicker for North Geelong. Thank you very much. We'll be back with the second quarter shortly. Thank you. Welcome back to Osborne Park for the second quarter of the Leading Image Photographics Cup. Under-16 Division 3 Grand Final. And I notice in the record, Cogs, it says the Under-16 Division 3 Second Semi-Final. Yes, I noticed that. The Which is totally wrong. Slight printing error, I believe. That wouldn't be Mr Rawlings' fault, would it? No, no. It's the printer, even, actually. Let's fix this scoreboard, Cogs, if you can yes, take Yes, so uh, here we go. The start of the quarter, the ball's forced through towards North Geelong into attack but clearing there for Ocean Grove is Matt Barry he tries to get it away he's tackled beautifully by the North Geelong boys so they go into attack North Geelong up towards 10 R forward looking there for a, pushing in hard there for North Geelong looks like the young fellow there in um, Jack Hall can't get the ball to tap on handball oh, over the top by Van Rieken the, the captain, captain. they're going hard North Geelong they're trying to get the ball Ocean Grove desperate 
clear it out, but only as far as Anthony Armstead. He gets it out to his captain, Luke Van Rieken, and he drives it up forward. Oh, son, you don't take... Well, is that the bloke coming at the ball take those? That's exactly right. And they're coming, oh, coming through like a steam train there is Cameron Fletcher. Dustin Fletcher, he drives it up into the square. He's found him, his teammate up there in Mitchell Troy. Darren Troy, you little beauty, as he goes, oh, no. Clearing it well for Ocean Grove is Murray Hodgman. Hodgman out wide, looking for his teammate out there in young Jared Howlett. Gets the ball, running on with it. He drops with a drop punt up towards the centre wing. Looking for Guy O'Keefe, the good goal snapper. He's on, on his left favourite left foot. A beautiful kick he is, O'Keefe. Ships it across beautifully to his teammate in Jacob Naby. Naby driving it up. Oh, he's a chance. No. Here they come in. Oh, the big fellow over around it. He can't get the ball. Callum Lyle. Well. Doing in slow motion, Callum. Yeah, that's right. Hold on. The whistle on play here. I think it's a North Geelong free kick. North Geelong free kick. In the back pocket here is the young fellow there for the... Magpies are coming through Ocean Grove. Get the ball again, they drive it back into attack, right up into the full forward zone. The back of the pack over the top, trying to take the mark with Lachlan McKernan. Gets in. Whoa, I'll tell you what the umpire says. We'll have a uh, throw in. Great to see Daryl Jones here. Daryl and his young son out there, young Matthew. Daryl, a legend of North Geelong and Osborne Park. An icon in local football. Well done, Daryl. Good to see you down here and young Matthew doing really well. Here's the ball, North Geelong coming out of defence here through uh, Shane Welsh. He drives the ball out towards the centre of the ground and they go hard. Running over the ball for Ocean Grove there was Alex De Papa, Del Papa, but it's North Geelong getting possession here. I think it's Armstead, Billy's young boy. Shocking kick over the North Geelong to Ocean Grove, clear it out. A bad bounce, it beats everyone. Still, in they go. It's, I think it's the young fellow, it's uh, Troy, can't get the ball. Ocean Grove do, they go into attack. Great chance, it's a great mark. Has he paid it? No. Still play on, the crowd Lachlan roar. Lachlan Bit stiff now, there, Lachlan. Oh, the umpire, I don't know what he's done there, but he's given a free kick to North Geelong. In the back I thought uh, he penalised Lachlan McKeeman. Don't know why. Anyway, he's kicked the ball up to the centre wing, the North Geelong boy, the pack fly. Nobody can take the ball, but picked the ball up off the ground, North Geelong. They force it forward. Running onto the football for North Geelong is uh, Bradley Greenwood. He can't do anything with it. The ball goes back into the pack. Couple of slippers in there. Ocean Grove's Jacob Naby picks the ball up. Gets it out in front of Jake Wilson. Wilson can't do anything with it. Stacks on the mill. He's punched the ball clear. The pack's punched the ball clear. Toe poking it along the ground is Mitchell Troy. Comes back to Greenwood. Greenwood puts it out in front of Troy, but chipping in there for Ocean Grove. Oh, I'll tell you McKeeman. And I reckon Lockham McKeeman was not only taken high then, he was dealt with unfairly and pushed in the back. The umpire didn't see it the way I saw it, so it's a boundary throw. They're getting all the breaks, I think, at the moment, North Geelong. They are. Going their the way. two big fellas do uh, ruck, the North the North Geelong ruckman that's in the back to mock for mine too. That took the... Jake Wilson forward in the tackle, but anyway, the umpire's not looking at it like that. And he said, give it to me, boys. I'm going to ball her up. The umpire's got the ball on the half, uh, out, on the, out on the wing there here at Osmond Park. North Geelong get the ball again. Coming through nicely was uh, Brown. Got it across to his teammate in Navy. Navy kicked it forward. Nobody can do anything with it, but taken too high, Cameron Fletcher. is a bit lucky to get that, but the umpire saw it there. Fletcher gets it into the centre of the ground to Daniel, uh, Key. Daniel Key. Another Daniel, famous... Daniel, the Malcolm Key, one of the legends. Of very famous legend name out here at North Geelong. Well, well. Key kicks the ball oh, forward. Oh, yes, the big fellow at the back. I think it's that's the captain. Captain Luke Van Creeken. Luke, that's Captain Van Creeken. <laughs> that's correct. On the good ship, SS Minnow. He'll line up here for the North Geelong <laughs> boys, as the skipper says. Put it through. I don't reckon he can. You know why? I reckon these balls are too light. The skipper of the SS Minnow and Gilligan down there in the square too is a big fella. We've got Mary Ann in the cheer squad. With Here we go. Long raking left foot kick up into the square. That's a goal. That is a dead set Has goal. Has been touched? No. no it's been creaking his kick. The umpires, they're talking to each other. All clear. Yep, it's a goal. North Geelong. Move to 2 1 13. Ocean Grove 2 2 14. We've played 
nearly six minutes into the second quarter of the Leading Image Photographics Cup Under-16 Division 3's Grand Final. I said this would be our absolute thriller of a game, and there's no doubt about it. Well, you're right, Brian. Yes. This having is the, gonna... having those, seen those two sides over the last few weeks, fantastic young teams. And they go again, the ball's thrown up. Trying to get the ball out in the centre of the ground. Here he goes, Van Creeken again. And a beautiful handball there to his teammate there in Tr Mitchell Troy. Troy goes long Kick. up towards us. That's another it. goal. <laughs> Mitchell Troy has kicked it's bounced through from he's kicked that from 65 metres out. <laughs> he has, hasn't he? And I'll tell you what, Darren Troy is looking at that, that young Mitchell, that is a magnificent goal from the young fella. <laughs> that was an incredible that kick. That was a great kick and it's just bounced through. As we see North Geelong move on to 3-1-19, Ocean Grove 2-2-14. Two, two, as we've played seven minutes into the second quarter of the Leading Image Photographics Cup Under-16 Division 3 second semi-final here at Philpott Park in North Geelong. And Dick Philpott, yes, we see Dick over there in the canteen as he's cherry just put ripe, down his cherry ripes. He's had 17 of them too, so going very well, Dick. There's the punch out. No one can get the up in the air. It goes again. Here they come again, North Geelong. It's Anthony Armstead, Billy's boy, gets it up towards centre forward. Desperate defence from Ocean Grove, Lee Walker as he dies on it, but coming through a lot. Got the handball out. Ocean Grove, they finally got a free kick. They have actually got a free kick. It's much of the delight of the Ocean Grove crowd. Oh, strong oh, mark. Top effort. A great mark by uh, the young fellow there. That's Shane uh, Walsh. Shane Walsh. That was holding him uh, not to be seen. Oh, a lovely oh, handball right. there by Christopher Marsden, but uh, that wouldn't be Roger's boy, would it? Oh, I dare say it would be. Roger <laughs> Marsden. <laughs> no. No, we're only joking. No, we're joking. Ocean Grove will take the free kick. Through Jay, Jake, Jake Wilson. 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 Kicks the ball up to centre forward for North Geelong, but they're good enough to come across the front They'll of the pack. Up the, the back full of the pack. forward. Can't take the mark. He was handled a bit unfriendly. But uh, Dean, the Rocco post. Is, Dean Rocco is fired for goal and he's hit, hit the, the post. post. It's a point. Which sees the uh, leading image photographics cup guest video. Under 16 Division 3 grand final score. North Geelong 3 2 20. Ocean Grove 2 2 14. It's the Dick Philpot North Geelong Magpies by one. Oh! What's happened there? Really a screamer. What, that would have been one of the great ones. But he's deemed he put his hands in the middle of his back. Now he's played on as the uh, Ocean Grove player. Gets it across to his teammate there in Jack Brown. Jackie Brown. Brown kicks the ball forward to his teammate in Joe Westman. Westman turns onto his left foot. Too far for his uh, forward, but he butted up beautifully, Nathan Irwin, and he kicked it. But North Geelong are good in defence, aren't they? And they've uh, cleared through uh, Anthony Armstead. Now that's a fair tackle, and uh, I think... North Geelong were pretty lucky then that uh, Mitchell Troy could get that away. That was a one-handed handball. It was. Anyway, out the back there for North Geelong was Greenwood. He couldn't uh, control the football. Gets it across to his teammate. They have another shot on goal, but nobody's got it. Ocean Grover standing strongly here in defence. He's caught. And that's a, that's a uh, free kick there, I would suggest, to Connor Guerin. Because it was an incorrect disposal. Yeah, young Connor Guerin. Now, he only stuck one mid out and just got his jumper in the middle of the back and slung him around. He couldn't do anything about it. That's he just right, pulled him yep. away from the football. Ripped him, as Jason Doughty would say, it ripped him off the football. Ripped him off the football, exactly, Noel. And the young Connor here, Connor uh, Gearing, has got to line up and kick it up into the goal square in right? Oh, they were oh, looking for the goals then, the weren't they, Ocean Grove? <coughs> when in doubt, go for the line. Yes, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a tactic. I hope they never stop that tactic. Some of these guys want to change rules all the time, don't they? Yes, and also our commentator here today, Noel Fanning, played a season down at Winchelsea in the Geelong and District Football League many, many years ago. And he actually played full back one game. And he kicked the ball out from full back and kicked it straight to the full forward, who was only about eight metres in front of him. And the full forward went bang and kicked Hit the a, post. a poster. 
And that is Noel's claim to fame. That's one of the legends of the Newtown 1978 Premiership champion with Ronnie Brain. Well done, Noel. Absolutely. Thank you very much. So we see on screen there the number 20, Cam Campbell Malloy. Gee, he looks like Jared Malloy, doesn't he? He does too. going to be a big ball when he gets I wonder if it's any, any relation. Has to be. The bounder umpire is going to throw this ball in. Malloy in the ruck against North Geelong's Linton Fox. Uh, sorry, North Troy. Geelong. Mitchell Troy. The yeah. punch here. They come through. They're coming through hard, Ocean Grove. In there battling hard is Daniel Key. He's got the free kick, Daniel Key, the son of the legendary Malcolm Key. The left footer. He goes up into towards the big fella. The push out, no. Play on. Here he comes. Coming through hard for the Grove is Tommy Kent, young Tom, the blonde bombshell. He Go goes again. again. No, that was young Jackie Brown. Oh, it is too. The two blonde bombshells. They look alike, don't they? They do. The kick to kick brothers, we'll call them. And they go the oh, Nankervis. The Nankervis is picked up there by young uh, Van Creek and the captain. They're desperate in defence here. Little Matty Jones, can he get it? The son of the legendary Darrell. Falls to the ground, can't pick it up. Oh, that's nearly a... He's showing a bit of grit like he's going there. Well, the umpires let this go. I, I did say grit. Grit. That's, thanks very much. I thought you said something else then. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, Darrell Jones, one of the legends of local football. Throw in deep into the forward pocket. They can't get the ball. Ocean Grove try to get it out. Tries to kick it away. Play on off of the ground. Here he goes. Oh, the yeah. young fellow there. It's young Joe Wentz, John Westman. Daniel Key got a good hold of his. Oh, another great. Well done to the young Ocean Grove boy. Smothered that. Ball comes out into towards the centre of the ground. Key, Key's fighting hard. Key's he's fighting hard. He's it, got it know? again. A beautiful it. handball out to his captain in bank. Van Rieken. Rieken. Here they chance. A chance out here is the Troy. The, Troy, the big fellow, he's got it. He's got it. He's passed it up to the big fellow, Bradley Greenwood. He's kicked 36 goals this year and the leading goal kicker in uh, Division 3 Under 16 Leading Image Photographics Cup. Bradley Greenwood will be going for his 37th goal for the year and I reckon you could just about pencil this one in. No. He's already kicked one today. Well, at uh, 38 he'll be going for then. Correct. And he's been, uh, no, he's. He's a sharp shooter from the Osmond Park. What's happened here? He missed it, actually. No, the umpire reckons it's all right. Yeah, he doesn't That's miss it. second. As we check the score here at the um, Under-16 Division Three Grand Final, the leading image photographics cup in the second quarter, as we have now played nearly 14 minutes, we have Ocean Grove on 2-2-14, but North Geelong Magpies, they move on to 4-3-27 which is, means the North Geelong are 13 points in front. Ball up in the centre, up they go. No one went up for Ocean Grove. Not Geelong at the tap out, but they were here. Ocean Grove, a good thump on. Picked Malloy. up there by Callum Vale. Callum Vale drives it forward. His teammate like takes the right? mark. And like beautiful Keith pass. Took the mark. Oh, Keith found his teammate up there in Dirk Chilek. Captain Dirk. Captain Dirk. Captain Kirk. <laughs> the Dirk to Kirk. Beat me Charlie. up, Dirk. <laughs> so the one, Noel, went right into it here. <laughs> this boy, oh, he's a long way out. He'd have to kick this. He'd have to kick this 70 metres to put this through. He would too, wouldn't he? Oh, it's a long way in Osmond Park. This will test the boy. Yeah. It's Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk Chilek comes what, in. It's not a bad effort. <laughs> he's kicked. Hey, it. what? That's gone 70 metres. What's happened here? He's put it through. Yes. That is one of the great goals at Osborne Park we've seen for a long time. A beautiful kick. Especially for the kid. My word. 21. 20. Yeah, they're very strong down at Ocean Grove for the juniors coming through. Must like be a CE that makes them kick like that. Yeah. Check the score now. We move. Ocean Grove move on to 3 2 20. North Geelong 4 3 27. That's the Magpies at Philpot Park by seven points as we have played 15 minutes into this second quarter of the Leading Image Photographics Cup Under-16 Division Three Grand Final. Up we go again. We've finally got a Ruckman in there for Ocean Grove. We haven't had one all day, but we've got one now. There we go. Ba Matt Barry got the tap down though for Matt North Barry. Geelong. Yep. Here they come. The, the Magpies are away up towards centre half forward. Ooh. The umpire says... He's pinged him. <clears throat> it's a free kick to the blonde bombshell. <laughs> Jackie Brown, young yeah, Jack. He just took him out of the ball too much, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's fair enough. Good kick. 
Good kick to his teammate, Linton Fox. Yep. And it was Lorraine to Lindsay. Lindsay Fox, yeah. <laughs> oh, and I'll tell you what, he might have given him 50, 50 here. 50 metres! It's pretty generous. Yes. Well, he must have said something to him. You don't talk to umpires. That's the rules these boys are going to learn. That's uh, Jay Turner. Yeah, correct. Mm. Lindsay Fox. Linton Lindsay Fox. What can he do? Yeah, I don't think he's confident of kicking the distance. Oh, it's a fair might. way. Yeah, it's for a little fellow like that. Yeah. He'll drive it as long as he can up into the goal square. About six hands went on that ball. He's, he's played, played the, the mark. He's played the oh. mark to the captain, Van Rieken. I reckon about four hands touched there, but anyway. Van Rieken gets it out to uh, Daniel Key on the heart, in the back yeah. pocket. Son of the legendary Malcolm Key. Yeah. Key's punched the ball up to the wing position, looking for Greenwood, but he couldn't take it. Can't, roving the pack well there was... Uh, North Geelong, and it was a lead, race in the race for the ball, but he's shown him a clean pair of heels as uh, Matthew Maroney. He got slung as he got rid of the handball, and he's gone back in after it again. But the ball's come back to where Greenwood's picked it up, and he's kicked it further down the field, and uh, it goes back into the middle of the ground where we see Rockow pick the ball up, kick it forward, but uh, they're not kicking the ball with any conviction as. Uh, Jack Brown, Jackie Ocean Brown, Grove. doing a great job down there in defence for Ocean Grove. He is, isn't he? The blonde bombshell. Let's we'll see who gets on of this. The captain for North Geelong, Luke Van Rieken, kicks the ball forward, finds his teammate, half forward flank, brings it into centre half forward, can't take the mark. Ocean Grove clean up through Jacob Naby, gets the ball forward, nobody can take the mark, kicked off the ground, at centre wing, out of side here at North Geelong. Falling over the ball that time was Wraith, Adrian Wraith, and the umpire said, you better give it to me, boys, because it's not going anywhere. And uh, Wraith and Wraith gives Ryan Beggs a pat on the back for the hard work he's do doing in there. P yes. Punch down it. Jay Turner wasn't on the ru in the ruck early in the day, was he? No. He's... That's the siren sounds. It's half time here in the leading image photographics cup. Under 16 Division 3, grand final between Ocean Grove and North Geelong. We have Ocean Grove 3 2 20, North Geelong leading 4 3 27. Goal kickers for Ocean Grove Jake Wilson has one, Dirk Shilek has one, Joe Westman has one. For North Geelong, the captain Luke Van Crean Crecken has one, Bradley Greenwood has two, and Mitchell Troy has one. We will be back after this break with the second half with. Brian Coglin and Noel Fennell. The Leading Image Photographics Cup Under-16 Division 3 Grand Final between Ocean Grove and North Geelong. At half-time, we checked the scores. North Geelong 4-3-27, Ocean Grove 3-2-20. As we're about to start the vital third quarter, the Premiership quarter, as I call it, in any grade of football. As the umpire has made sure all the spectators are on the other side of the fence, Brian... Umpires Lachlan Rowe and Andrew Nolan in the middle of the ground. He's happy. Everything's going. Off and running. Here we go. In the centre of the ground, up they go. North Geelong fighting hard for the ball. The ball comes out to the Ocean Grubbers. The Grubbers go into attack. Kicked up there. I think it was big, the big fellow there in um, Campbell Malloy. He gets it up there looking for the ball. Oh, oh well, keep well, that a free kick. A handball over the top from North Geelong. He's tackled another handball out there to uh, <coughs> Cameron Fletcher. The umpire says out of bounds. And the throw-in will take place on the Ocean Grove half-forward flank right in front of the Dick Philpott Club rooms. Well, I reckon Cameron Fletcher's very stiff because he was dragged off the football he when he actually. didn't have it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the boundary umpire has thrown the football in. It's come to where uh, Mitchell Troy didn't have the football and it was the same as the uh, Cameron Fletcher one, but this time the umpire picked it up. He's played on. Kicks the ball up past the centre of the ground. Up they fly. Oh, nearly a good mark taken there high. by North Geelong in the uh, Shane Walsh, but he couldn't hold it. The ball comes, spills out of the pack to where Anthony Armstead punches it up to the uh, other, to the forward half there, but uh, Ocean Grove 
picked out of the uh, pack that time by Christopher Marsden. Marsden kicks the ball basically straight across the half forward line. Leading in the race for the ball is Dean Rockauer. He can get round his first Ocean Grove opponent. Gets the ball back to uh, Mitchell Troy. Troy can't do anything with it. On hands and knees. Ball's uh, kicked back to uh, the half forward flank. Back Straight back to uh, where we see uh, Chris Marsland take a nice mark for North Geelong. Right at centre half forward, Cogsy, he would be 41.3 metres out. He would be exactly that far out, Noel. <laughs> Magnificent pick up then as the young lad lines up and bangs it into the... Tooth a goal. I'll tell That's you a goal. I think he's put it through, has he? That is a goal. The number six, Christopher Marsland, the that same number as the big Ray Robinson used to wear for North Geelong, the legendary Ruckman. The number six up Guernsey made famous out here by Big Robbo. But it's young Christopher Marsland. As we see the scoreboard move on to North Geelong, move to 5 3, 33 in Ocean Grove, 3 2, 20. The margin is 13 points. Well, they lost three grand finals yesterday, Ocean Grove. Don't tell me it's going to be four after this one. I wonder how their netballers are going today. I hope they're, they're in a few. I hope they're in a few today. I hope they get something back there. Oh, well, surely. We've played nearly three minutes into this vital third quarter here at Philpot Park. The ball goes. North Geelong pushing into attack again. Running onto the ball well there for the North Geelong side. I think they drive the ball forward. Defending well for Ocean Grove was Tommy Candy. Can't get the ball. Going in hard is Jackie Brown for the North Geelong. The blonde bombshells. Handball up. Kent's got it now. He can't pick it up. Going in hard. There he goes again. The other blonde bombshell. That's um, Jackie Brown. The two blonde bombshells defending grimly now for the, the grubbers. So the ball's been pushed towards the boundary line. I think you'll find it'll go over the line and out of bounds. Young Alex De Papa. Alex De Papa. He's a defender and he's doing well for the grubbers down there as they fight hard to stop this bit of a run on the, the Os Osborne Park boys at Philpot Park have got the North Geelong Magpies. In they go. The ball's been punched to the ground. Play-ons are called over the ball and under is that young number Marsland who just kicked that last Daniel goal. Key kicked I'll the ball what, out beautifully. Connor Giron. Daniel Key sent it up there. Good Daniel vision. Key, yes. The great Malcolm Key's young lad. Fantastic effort. And the big fella's got it. Connor plug up, Little plug up. Little plug up. <laughs> Can Connor, Connor gear on? Can he do it? This will be... Oh, he kicked one before, didn't he? No. I don't think he's kicked no, one today. He he's lining up from about point blank range. And Tell he's what, gone he bang. kicked that ball. And you know who it reminded me of when he kicked it? Who was that? King of the 10-yard square. Dougie Wade. Dougie Wade. Yep. Exactly. Unfortunately, he doesn't wear that number 23 Guernsey. He does not. Another famous player was Larry Donahue. You, would, you'd remember Larry, wouldn't you, know? I can remember watching Larry kick 100 goals one year down at the cat Cattery. At the Cattery, that's correct. Always have a beer with the one who kicked a ton down in Winchell. So actually, Lovely bloke, Larry. My word. A lovely A, a legend, too. We checked the score here in the uh, leading image photographics Cup Under-16 Division 3 Grand Final. We have North Geelong go along to 6 3 39. In the Premiership quarter, the third quarter, Roshan Grove remain on 3 2 20. The margin now 19 points. You know what about Larry Donahue? Larry Donahue? Yeah, he's a magnificent fellow. And you know what I liked about him when he finished playing league football at Geelong with Fitzroy? He put a bit back, back into the locals. local football. That's correct. Well said, Noel Fanning. Exactly right. Here we go again. They're into attack again. They've dominated the rucks in the North Geelong in this quarter. They, they run on games working well. The captain, Van Creeken, he's tackled. He's paid dropping the ball. Well, a bit stiff there, young uh, Luke, but in the out. The blonde bombshell, Brown, gets it out wide, finds his teammate out there in Guy O'Keefe. He's had a few bit of the ball. Guy O'Keefe normally playing in the forward line, but they've had this quarter, they've dropped him down in defence because they're under pressure, the Ocean Grubbers. Here they go out towards the chance here for North Geelong. Picked up there by the young fellow there. He drives the ball up towards the forward line for the Magpies. Into a tag over running the ball there was Bradley Greenwood. Going in hard for a beautiful... Oh, he got one high, I think. Play on to call, advantage, yep. No, Josh Westman, Johnny Westman will have to take that. Hold on, what's happened here? Oh, they're into it. Don't want to do it. I want to see you Monday night, boys. <coughs> Young, um, who's that, Adrian Rath? You know what uh, they tell me about when I watch the TV now? If you grab their jumper and you do punch a jump, just get away with it. Is that right? The new rule? It must be. Used to me. Anyway, uh, Keith kicks the ball up the centre half forward. Leading out was uh, intercepted by North Geelong, but the ball's bounded back to that Ocean Grove fella. But running onto the football for Ocean Grove is Jacob Naby. He can't do anything about it because uh, 
Standing in defence for the uh, North Geelong boy, North Geelong was Jacob's uh, immediate opponent in the fullback for North Geelong, who took the ball over the boundary line. Boundary umpire is going to throw this football in. As we see, uh, who's that big fellow? There, Campbell Malloy doing Campbell the rough Malloy, work. Yeah. Of course it is. The oh, sitting down the with the handball Malloy. from uh, Daniel Key was very clever to his teammate. Gets it up to the forward Ooh, line, and the ball is taken over the boundary line by Matthew Moroni. Showing a bit of strength there like his dad used to. Yeah, my word, young Moroni. Yep, his father would be pleased with the young lad today. A curly head, dark head. Looks a bit like his old man too, actually. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh, oh, that's a great cool. a bump. bump. Yeah. The captain of North Geelong hit the deck, but he's up, bounced up, as he, a captain should. Trying to get the ball, Van Creek, and he looks a bit... Oh... The, the, Mitchell Troy. Mitchell Troy, that was a good tackle on. Oh, oh Van Creek is getting pushed around. Mitchell Troy says, I wouldn't be doing that if I was you. And uh, Mitchell Troy is sticking up for his captain there. Yeah, so he should. Yep, my word. Yeah, well done. Marcel uh, gets the kick, but it's only to the no avail. It goes straight to Matt Barry. Barry drives it up forward for the cent centre forward for Ocean Grove. The umpire says, free kick, I think. Yeah, he reckons he, held him, reckons he held him when he was going for that uh, mark. Touchy. Yeah, I thought it was too. Anyway, Lachlan take McKeenan, is it? Lachlan McKeenan, oh, yeah. Oh, yes, but no. The blonde bombshell down there for the North Geelong. He's been a, a saviour down there in the back line for him, the left footer. Yeah. He comes out wide looking out there for his teammate. He's taking the mark, I think. Yeah, Armstead, Billy's boy. He's been all right, this guy. Anthony Armstead, Billy yeah. Armstead, the legend of local football. That's 50 legend. metres. He ran over that mark. Yeah. He's been good. He's been good, uh, Marslin. He's got it again. Um, good, Armstead, yeah, Armstead, a long raking handball. Good vision. Good vision. Can he get around a beautiful yeah. handball there to little Maroney? Maroney, another handball. Yeah. Find this is working the ball well. Oh, got him as he kicked the ball yeah, in. Young fair Marslin, bump. fair enough. Uh, he hasn't got the football, and, and he's let that go. He's put the whistle away. I think. Yeah. The There's two of them here. The raffle it. The mark here to uh, John Westman. Westman on the left foot kicks in a shocking kick. The captain chips in for North Geelong, can't do anything with it. And uh, there's a fair yeah, tackle outside there ball, to huh? Adrian Wraith. Pixie oh, getting told to go back. The Ocean Grove, I mean the Port uh, North Geelong coach is going crazy down here and screaming at his charges to do things. As we find North Geelong come out of it with Cam um, Fletcher. Cameron Fletcher. He's been a tower of strength back there for him. The Daniel Fletcher boy, he goes out wide and looking out there, but intercepting well for Ocean Grove on the left foot. Oh, straight to his direct opponent. In, I think it's Fletcher again. It is. Gets another kick. He drives it up forward. Beautiful play there by the Ocean Grove boy in Shawnee. Frank Heiser. Frank Heiser. Well, Frankie Heiser, where are you, me boy? You can't get it now because Christian Bowl, son of the legendary Carlo Bowl, tries to get a kick away. Ball spills to the ground. They're fighting hard here at this great grand final. The umpire will have to ball this up, you'd reckon, for sure. Yep. As we've played 10 minutes into the vital third quarter here at the Osmond Philpot Park as the leading image photographics cup under 16 division three second semi-final. Where we see North Geelong holding a 19 point lead over Ocean Grove. Umpire blows the whistle, a ball up again. And Shane Welsh got up the bottom of the pack there for North Geelong. Ball on the outer wing here at Osmond Park. The umpire throws it up. Ocean Grove, the Grubbers, get the tap out. Fighting on hard for the Grubbers there was uh, Joe Westman. Been very good for them. Jake Hall held the ball up. And uh, coming over the top of him was Lachlan McKeeman. And he's tackled strongly by Jay Turner. And the umpire said, Jay, go back and have a kick, son. Turner brings the ball over to centre half back where he's got a teammate in the agency Daniel of Daniel Key. Key. Key goes on his right foot, <coughs> kicks it up to the wing. The ball was just a little bit too weighted. It was meant for uh, Ryan Viviano and he ended up getting it, but he couldn't do anything with it. Ball's gone back into the middle of the pack. Umpire says play on. Kicked out of that pack that time by Jared Howlett. Ball's uh, comes back here this time to Armistead. He's been very good, Armistead. As, yeah. as has Key. Key. Been very good in defence. Yes. Very, very good defender, young Key. In fact, I would just about rate him in the top two at the moment for this uh, Norm Smith medal today. The leading image, guest video, best player award. Yeah, well, he's probably been one of the better ones, hasn't he? Mm. 
Him and Armstead. Armstead, Armstead worked hard yep. for it. My word. Yep. See, this is not as hard, easy to pick this best on the ground trophy as some other. Key again, he's doing well, the number 11. Yeah. Really good game so far. Throw in. Turn a win. Up they Armstead go, the again. big fella. Armstead, he's done well in the, in the ruck for the Magpies, Billy's boy. There they go, the captain, Van Creeken, gets a left foot kick. Here they go, and just in here is Matthew Moroni, the young Moroni Couldn't boy. Couldn't get a handle on it. He gets a handball over the top, but the blonde bombshell comes through. Here he is, yes, Jackie Brown. Jackie goes out wide. Oh, just about pay that. Yeah, it's Ocean yeah. Grove. You yeah, it's a guy O'Keefe, I'd reckon. Yeah. Good mark, young guy O'Keefe. No, no, take hold on, it what's off happened here? It's going to be out of bounds. Oh. Well, he took, caught that well inside the boundary. Yeah, line. he did. Yeah. Strange decision, but anyhow. Don't argue with the umpires. No, I'm setting ruck. Can't get them coming through there. For North Geelong was uh, Troy. Kicked as, the, kicked as he was slung with the ball. Yeah, they come up towards the centre wing in front of the commentary box here. It's Luke Van Creek and forces the ball over the line. Young Nathan Irvin there for the Ocean Grove Grubbers. Centre wing. 13 minutes into this vital third quarter here in the leading image photographics under 16 Division 3 Cup Premiership quarter. A punch up towards the Ocean Grove half forward line with the captain Van Creeken over the line in front of Guy O'Keefe. Another throw in will take place. Armstead, no, Armstead's not going to take the ruck tap out. No, it's going to be Fletcher. Fletcher will go up. No, no. no, it didn't. Um, Jay Turner went up. Fletcher's going to run onto it now, though. Cameron, the Daniel Turn Fletcher the boy. Picked up by uh, Andrew Lord. Jay Turner. Turner gets a kick up towards centre forward for the Magpies. Chipping it off the green there with a little chip was Mitchell Troy. Troy trying hard. Ocean Grove in the van now. Coming away with it now was Matt Barry. He goes with a long raking kick up towards centre forward. Up they go. Punch to the ground. There he goes again. The key boy. He's he on fire. Young Malcolm. The son of the legendary Malcolm. Goes up to the half forward line for North Geelong. And in the van there is Jackie Brown again. The blonde bombshell, away he goes. He's done a great, played a great game for the Grubbers. Good kick. Beautiful pass out there. Finds his teammate, taking the mark, and Johnny Westman. Johnny runs around onto his left boot. Comes up towards the centre of the ground. Over the top, the big fella. Malloy. Big Campbell Malloy. Couldn't he mark the ball? Play on's a call. The umpire says, no, I'll have it. Ball up. Yeah, the young Jared Malloy, the number 20, is going to be a big boy. This ball, when he goes up, he's up in the ruck. Here he goes, the big fella. Bang. No, don't you long get the tap out. It was Jay Turner, he gets it out, can't pick it up. The captain goes in hard, Van Creek, and he gets it again. Gets a kick away, up and under, the punch to the ground. It's in the glue pot in the middle of Philpot Park here. And, and the way they go, North Geelong. But Ocean Grove get the ball, they clear it up towards centre forward. A long raking kick. Up they go, and who's at the back of the pack? Running onto the ball, well, for Ocean Grove is Nathan Irvin. He can't get it, it's up the ground. The ball runs towards the point, so I think it's just gone through for a minor score. Kicked off the ground by Lachlan <coughs> McKeeman. Lachlan McKeeman, and a point goes on the board. As we check the score here, we have Ocean Grove 6-3-39, Oce uh, North Geelong 6 3 to Ocean Grove 3 3 21. And we have played 15 minutes into this vital third quarter, the Premiership quarter of Geelong Junior Football Under-16 Division Three Leading Image Photographics Cup. I think that might have been Ocean Grove's first score for the quarter. First yeah. score for the quarter. Correct. Anyhow, the ball's out there on the centre wing now. It's boys are really tired. They're, they're throwing everything in it. They're like gladiators, these two sides. They're giving it their all late in this third quarter. As North Geelong go into attack, punched away there by the Ocean Grove boy in a long handball out. Here's a chance for North Geelong, picked up there by the young fellow there in um, Rocco, Dean Rocco. He turns around, he drives up towards the half forward line. Going out to meet the ball, the boundary line looms up. It was Bradley <coughs> Jordan, and it'll be a throw in in the North Geelong half forward line, about 43 and a half metres around from the goals here at the Philpot Park in North Geelong. As we come with two minutes to go in this vital third quarter, Malloy, a thumping left hand punch towards the, the centre wing, North Geelong in the van. Oh, he got one a bit higher, the boy. Thank Ducked you. the head though. In they go, a soccer off the green there by Christopher Marsland. Heads towards the boundary. There he has the blonde yeah. bombshell. Actually, he legged him. Yeah, he, no, he's uh, played dropping the ball. He's a bit stiff there. Well, Cameron Dustin Fletcher's got it. The Cameron, the Dustin Fletcher. The bomber, the magpie bomber. He's going to have a shot. No, he won't. He'll line this up. He'll put it as far as he can up towards the teeth of goal. Up they go at the back of the pack. 
been punched through, I think, from my rush behind. Moves Ocean Grove. Stay on 3321. North Geelong go on to 6440. At the 17-minute mark of this vital third quarter. Here they come, North Geelong. Ocean Grove, big kick out from the full back line. Out towards the half back line. A tap on there, beautiful tap on there by the young fellow Mitchell oh, Troy. Key kicked up again. me. Key has been on fire. I think he might have been. Oh, the big fellow Murray, Murray Hodgman. Murray Hodgman. Murray. I don't know what happened there. He's, he's got a kick, is he? No, he, he, he yeah, actually dropped kick. it, but I think he was taken high. Oh, high tackle, yeah. yeah. Big Murray Hodgman there in the, the full back for the uh, Ocean Grove Grubbers. And this last minute of this third quarter as he kicks out to the. Oh, up he went the big fella. He was held then, the captain of North Mitchell Geelong. Mitchell Troy tried to hit a kick. Key again. Key again. He's been brilliant in this third quarter. Up they go. The blonde bombshell punches it away for Ocean Grove. A beautiful turnover packed by Dean Rocco. Over they go. Ocean Grove defending grimly. Fletcher. Fletcher. In they go again. Rocco! Rocco again. He's bought. He's got around four of them. He's key to go. Rocco has had a stuff for golf in North Geelong. Young Dean, I'll tell you what. What's he done? He's put it through. He's put it through. It's a great goal for the Magpies here at Osmond Park. As they move on to 7-3-45, Ocean Grove 3-3-21. Right on the, coming up towards the three-quarter time siren about to blow within about 10 or 15 seconds, I would suggest. That'll be the last score for this quarter, but yeah. Oh, it hasn't been young. Daniel Key lifted North Geelong oh. in this quarter. He has been fantastic. I like uh, Fletcher's game too in this quarter. Fletcher's done well too. Key's gone into the middle now. Absolutely brilliant. His father, Malcolm, will be proud of the boy so far in this great grand final here in Division 3. The leading image photographics cup under 16 Division 3 as the siren blows to end the third quarter. As we check the score at three quarter time, Ocean Grove 3-3-21. North Geelong, 7-3-45. Goal kickers to this stage, Ocean Grove, Jake Watson, 1. Dirk, Shylock, 1. John Westman, 1. Ocean Grove didn't bother the scorers in that quarter for goals. North Geelong, Luke Van Creeken, the captain, has 1. Christopher Marslin has 1. Connor Guerin has 1. Dean Rocco kicked that last goal, has 1. Bradley Greenwood has 2. And Mitchell Troy has 1. And we will be back shortly with the final vital quarter of this grand final. Welcome back. Final quarter, Leading Image Photographics Cup. Welcome back, Leading Image Photographics Cup under 16, Division 3, grand final, last quarter. North Geelong Magpies holding a 24, four goal margin. They go into attack again, the Magpies, up towards the centre half forward area. Fighting hard, the big fella for the grubbers. Malloy gets a kick, but no. I dropped the mark there, North Geelong. In they go again. Running, coming with the ball. A good tackle on play. He's played, dropping the ball. Yes. Captain Van Van Ricken, Lugie Van Ricken, the captain, the skipper, takes the kick. He'll drive the North Geelong Magpies up into the uh, forward line here as he's looking for options. He's got no one to kick it to. He'll say, I'll go along with the raking left foot. Up he goes, up towards the full forward. The big fellow at the back can't make the mark. Picks it up. He's tackled. The umpire says, ball up. He was away too, Dean Rock. Here he wanted another goal. Yep. Got the last one last quarter. That's wanted to right. get the first one this quarter. Yep, my word. But he was nailed by the Ocean Grove defenders as the umpire throws the football up. Rock out, gets a tap down. Shark by Ocean Grove. Kicked out to the half back flank for Ocean Grove. Coming through strongly was uh, for North Geelong. It's Mitchell Troy. He can't do anything with it. The boys goes down to Fletcher. Fletcher punches it along the ground. Kicked off the ground by Mitchell Troy again. Jumping on it was Rock out. Nobody can do anything with it. It's picked up now by uh, Jake Wilson, but the umpire's blown a whistle, and he's going to pay Ocean Grove a free kick. I didn't pick I that one. I don't understand that one. That was no. uh, well, fair enough. The man in white is always right, as they say. No. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, they've got the football, and it's picked up by Jake Wilson. Jake Wilson kicks the ball forward for the Grubbers, but uh, North Geelong intercept, and he kicks it straight back into the glue pot. Oh, lovely tap on there by um, Daniel Key, who's been a uh, real live way. comes back to him. Key again. Yeah. Brilliant. Young Key. Brilliant. Good kick. Great kick. Good mark. Great Greenwood. Mark. Yep. The big fella. Yep. He's played well, Greenwood. Oh, he sort of well, tended he was going to kick it long, and then he decided to go to uh, Connor 
Geeran and Connor, Geeran, Connor, yeah. Connor didn't kick the ball straight, but it's whether he can kick. Uh, oh, he should be within distance, shouldn't he? Yeah, I think so. They're playing all over him at the moment, North Geelong, and it's thanks to the efforts I think of Young Key. He's been fantastic. Uh, the young fella, Daniel, Young Daniel Key, son of the legendary Malcolm Key, one of the legends of Osmond Park at North Geelong. As we see, Young Geeran Connor coming in. From the pocket, he fires it up into oh, the woods. No. The back of the pack, it looks like it's a big mark. Oh, it's a great yes. mark, the big fella. Greenwood. I think it's, uh, yes, Bradley Greenwood. He's kicked 39 goals this year in Geelong Junior Football. Will line up for his 40th goal for the season. And it'll be his third this afternoon. And third this afternoon. The big fella, big Greenwood. Yep, Bradley. Now, Dick Philpott said you cannot kick goals from the dead pocket at Osmond Park. And he isn't in the, the dead pocket. He runs around. I'll tell well, you he's what. Made a liar, Dick Philpott does not know what he's talking about. As the kids put it through, well done. As we check the score here in this great last quarter, final quarter, North Geelong go under weight three fifty one, Ocean Grove three three twenty one. The margin is thirty points in favour of the North Geelong Magpies. Yes, I think the. The efforts there of Malcolm Key, who has absolutely gone into the centre and been blitzing for the last quarter and a bit. He's been a fantastic player today. He's led him. Captain Van Creeken's playing well in the centre as well, you know. They've got Young, I think it's arm set up in the ruck, up they go. The Bruckman go up for the Ocean Grubbers, the Grubbers, the big fellow in there for Ocean. Jared Howell has gone into the ruck to try and lift them. Here they come, Howell gets the kick up the centre half forward for the Grubbers. Play-ons are called. North Geelong, resolute in defence. They Turn go out to the outer side of the ground, out to the wing. Picked up there a handle over the top from North Geelong. Out to his teammate there in uh, Mitchell, Troy. Troy finds his teammate Greenwood there in Greenwood. Again. Greenwood, he's got the ball. They're running all over him at the, at the moment, North Geelong. North Geelong go into attack again, up to the half-forward line. Up they go, no one can mark the ball. At the back of the pack, coming through hard. A soccer kick off the ground, open space into the hands of Dean Rocco. He can't get the ball, coming through hard. Defending well was Guy O'Keefe for the Grubbers. On the left foot, he kicks a cry. Oh, coming through beautifully was Dustin Fletcher. Dustin <laughs> Fletcher picks it up. The left foot snap from Dustin goal! Fletcher. I'll tell you what. Cameron Dustin Fletcher has put it through. He's put it through, and that means that's another goal to the Magpies. 9-3-57 to 3-3-21. 36 points the margin here in, at Philpott Park as North Geelong are racing away with the Division Three Leading Image Photographics Cup. Grand final, under 16s. Great effort from Dustin Fletcher. Yes, young uh, Cameron Dustin Fletcher. Great goal. Jackie Brown's gone into the centre for Ocean Grove. They've got to do something. The young blonde bombshell's got to try and lift them. They need something there. Up in the ruck again, It's the big fella goes up. It's uh, Anthony Armstead, the power man. With the captain Van Creek and a lump raking handball. Over the top, trying to get the ball through. Out there is uh, Dean Rocco. Rocco can't get it. Stacks on the mill. Rocco's trying to get his ball out. The umpire says, I'll have it. Throw up. He's getting plenty of support there from uh, Adrian Wraith too, Colty. So uh, yeah. it was good Good team effort. Good team, yep. Supporting go. his team, That mate. time was taken by Armstead. He punched it forward. Picked up Marsland. Uh, by Marsland. Marsland on to his right foot. Nobody could take the... the Mark, but hacked it out of there was Connor Goran, oh, and the umpire mate, said kicking, uh, in kicking in danger. He's kicking at the ball. He's played advantage. Now, hold on, no, 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 what's hold on? He did play advantage, and then he caught him back. Oh, well, that's... He must be on something. I don't know what's happened there. Anyway, this is Malloy with the football. Ocean Groves, Malloy kicks the ball into centre half forward. Nobody Key. can take... Oh, Good okay. spoil, Key. He is, he has dead Throw set it. wrapped up. Yeah, yeah, no up. Andrew Sly was dead set wrapped up. Yep. Tried to run the gauntlet and Shane got Moss caught. Got Shane the kick, the key, Malcolm Key's boy, young Daniel, punched away. And there it's uh, Nathan Urban. He goes Captain. out wide, but only straight to. Well, he didn't have much of a chance there, but he's played old. Well, I guess it was similar great. to the other one yeah, there. He's got to be consistent. Consistent, that's yeah. correct. Free kick there for Ocean Grove. Goes with Gee. a big, magnificent barrel that's going to be at 55, 60 metres. His handball over the top there, heading out to what, trying to find his mate Guy O'Keefe. A good tackle, great tackle there by young Jared Howlett. Coming through hard for the grubbers is the young fellow there in um, Jake Wilson. Can't get the ball, he still fights hard for it. The umpire 
They've got a ball up, aren't boys? Gee, I'll tell you what, they're having a go, the boys. They've been around. Down in dip. hard, you know. These boys Good are to see Ocean Grove not giving up, even though they no. can't win it from here. No. We've got an interchange coming up here. We've got young Christian Bowl, Carlo's young lad coming up. And coming off, we have Ryan Beggs, Beggsy's boy. He's been all right, Beggsy, too. Yeah, Beggsy's done well. Up they go. Ball comes to the ground. The blonde bombshells there, young Jackie Brown. He's, had a, he's been one of the Ocean Grove shining lights today. Trying to get it again. The, here they come again, Ocean Grove. They're going to attack. They need something. They need someone to bang through a goal here. It's so important that the grubbers. I would have paid nearly no. The umpire's off the ground again. It's Nathan Irvin out wide looking out there with his teammates. Picked up there by Dirk Shilek. Dirk the Kirk. But straight to his opposition in North Geelong as they clear the ball. But no, straight down there. Would you like that, Jackie Wilson? And he chips it over the top. Oh, what's happened here? I can't understand that. This is terrible. He's called play on. Oh, he called play on. Yeah. I thought he marked it. But must have been touched. Must Anyhow, have been. I'll play yeah, going. I'm going to go on the distance. Where's the little, there's a blonde bombshell. No, the little fella coming in to help him. Matt Barry, young Matt. He's got pace. He's got beautiful pace, this boy. If he can kick a goal here. Oh, oh no, he knocked no. out of bounds. He was away then, wasn't he? He was just about home. Here's a chance. Picked up there by Jacob Naby into the square. That's an all long mark. In defence there, Ryan Viviano. Rainy, great stuff, the young fellow. He clears out to the outer side of the ground. Key in, in the van. He's got the ball, he'll get it. If he doesn't, he'll make sure someone else does. He did too. Get to his teammate there in... Um, Troy. Troy. He goes out to the outer side of the ground on the wing. Fighting hard for the ball is um, Anthony Armstead, the son of the legendary Billy Armstead, one of the legends of North Geelong. The big fellas done well to do today. Young uh, Anthony Armstead had a great game. And all the Ocean Grab bloke could do was tackle him because Matthew Maroney was ready to accept the handball. That's right. Anyhow, we've played in this final quarter with under nine minute mark. Halfway through this last quarter, 36 point margin in favour of the North Geelong Magpies. As young Daryl Jones, as young boy Matthew Jones will be starting to think about celebrating with a whiskey and coke tonight that Daryl will give him if they win this Premiership Cup. <laughs> Only one, Matthew, that's all you can have me, boy. Now he would need to have a lemon sauce with Uncle Dick Philpot. Absolutely, and, my word. and uh, even Sid would only have a cup, a cup of I coffee. I think Daryl might even have one himself. That was the captain, Van Rieken, kicking the ball up to the uh, centre wing. But uh, Ocean Grove through Jack Brown, even though he was tied up. A big oh, fella, a strong Hodgman. Oh, bang. They've moved him up the ground, They've got to do something. They've got to do something, Ocean Grove. They need a couple of goals quickly. Campbell Malloy's goal. Callum Vale has been very disappointing, I think, down there in the forward line. And for Ocean Grove? For Ocean Grove, I thought. He has. He's been well and truly beaten. Yeah, completely an ugly outclass, yep. right? Normally a good play, young Callum, but today's had an off day, I feel. Ocean Grove trying to get the ball clear. Here they come now, the grubbers. Picked up okay. there by Guy O'Keefe, who's kicked 24 career goals this year. He still kicked 24. And he still kicked 24. Oh. Did he cop a smack in the face that, then, that was, uh, no. Ryan, Ryan oh, Bibiano? Oh, I think it was a high, but the umpire said he's all right. That no, was uh, uh, Marsden. Marsden. He's up, the boy's up, he's all right. The captain, Luke Van Creeken, goes on that raking left foot. Oh, look at that. Drives it up kick. to the wing. Here's a chance, a beautiful mark there to uh, young Maroney. Matthew. Matthew Handball back, back to his captain. Stats captain. Yep, yeah, Luke, he's played a great game too. Captain Harold died. There he goes. The long up towards the centre wing, up towards half forward now. Chance there for Anthony Armstead. He was off. He the was mark. off. He was dead set off. Now the umpire said, "I'll ball it up." He's either off or it's a it's a free kick. Well, I can't understand that one, but anyhow. Because he was tackled. That's correct. Maybe he thinks that he wasn't given opportunity to get rid of it. Yeah, anyhow, up they go. Armstead gets the tap on. Balls at the front of the pack. A quick Armstead gets a quick kick out, but Ocean Grove in the van there. The little fellow there. And Andrew Sly tries to get the ball. He got it now, Sly. Comes around on the right foot. He kicks the ball up towards the centre wing. Great mark, Brown. a blonde bombshell. There he is, yep. Jack Brown. Jackie eh? Brown. He's played a great game for the Grubbers, a blonde bombshell. Finds his teammate out there in Nathan Irvin. Irvin, a right foot kick. The big fella. Can the big fella? He's got it now, has he? Big Callum Bale. Come on, Callum. You've got to lift, son. You've got to do something. Oh, good work. Picked up there by the little fella. He's tipped it in. He's found his teammate up in the square here. It's a mark. It's an Ocean Grove mark. By Guy O'Keefe. 
who's kicked 24 goals this year in Geelong Junior Football, under 16, Division 3. Oh, he's just, if the bloke had been here. ready, it, he's kicked the goal, but uh, he was O'Keefe's lucky. kicked a goal. If the North Geelong defenders had been on, the, on their ball, they would have hardly got off the ground. That's unbelievable. We'll check the score here in this final quarter. We have now played 12 minutes into the final quarter. Ocean Grove go on to 4 3, 27. North Geelong 9 3, 57. The margin 30 points with six minutes to go in this great grand final of Leading Image Photographics Cup Under 16 Division 3 grand final between Ocean Grove and North Geelong here at Philpot Park in North Geelong. Up the ball goes in the centre again. Armstead, another thumping tap. Backing up again, Armstead. He gets the ball, a short kick out, only intercepted there by. Andrew Sly for the grubbers. In they go hard. Picked up there by Armstead. He tries to get a kick away. Coming too hard Oy. with a big fella from Ocean Grove. Campbell Malloy. He's got it again. The Jared Malloy boy. Kick it, son. He does. He's trying to lift this grubber team. He goes up towards centre half. Or coming through was the Fletcher. The Dustin Fletcher. He came and he gets it away. Out there to the captain, Van Creek. And he goes with a left foot out wide. Boundary line they're screaming for. There he goes. Jackie Brown. Go, Jackie boy. The blonde bombshell. He fires it up. But there he is. The young fella. Mal Malcolm Keys, boy, away we go. Is he a great player Greenwood. today? Couldn't Greenwood. Take Here away. they come through the grubbers. Last roll of the dice for Ocean Grove. As they start coming now, they need a goal. The Dustin Fletcher boy's got it again. He takes a bounce. He kicks long up towards the centre wing. He's got a, a teammate out there from North Geelong. Takes the mark. It's uh, Marslin. Marslin, a handball to the Malcolm Key boy. Yep. Young Daniel. Daniel goes with a beautiful left foot kick. Oh, it's a beautiful tackle on there, the umpire says. Rocco tried to run the gauntlet. Dean Rocco, but the umpire said, I'll ball it up. Oh, what happened here? He's punched him in the face. Hold on, this is not, this is not what we're on about. Marsland has been king hit from behind. Did you get that? I saw it out of the corner of my eye, but I think it was a pretty ordinary act by the Ocean Grove player. Get him off. Well, Ocean Grove should take him off. Oh, shit, he's good. He's got him on the nose. Yeah. It's not good. Going all right too, uh, Marsley. He has yeah, had Marsley's a good game. Ryan Viviano's come back on. That's yeah. not what we like to see in no. Geelong Junior Football. Young fella from Ocean Grove will be reprimanded, I believe. Anyhow, back to the football. Well, I can tell you who he is. He's standing at centre Ford over there. Number, uh... Yeah. Yeah. There's young Nathan. We'll have a word to him, I think. Anyhow, North Geelong, here yeah. they go. Ocean Grove should have taken him off the ground for doing that. They should have. And they knew who he was. They know. Mitchell Troy fighting hard for the ball as it comes out there. Ocean Grove in the van. Out it comes there. Little Maroney got it now. Little Matthew, he gets a long handball over the top. Finds his captain in Lukey Van Rieken. Van Creeken goes for the Van Creeky Hogan. Here they go to make five. The Dean Rocco. He lines up, up towards the full forward zone. At the back of the pack, Tommy Kent, the blonde bombshell number two, goes for the big punch away. In the van there for his, I think it's Armstead. He gets his right foot to the ball. Drives it in the church. There's a mark. He's taken the mark. It's Christian Bowl, son of the legendary Carlo Bowl. The left footer is Bowl. Unselfish. Unselfish to Greenwood. Yeah. How is that, eh? That's, why they're, play, that's why they're Bowl. going to be Premier's 2004. Exactly. Great stuff as he bangs it through. That's Greenwood's fourth. Uh, no, that's number five, Matthew Jones. That's Daryl Jones's boy. Yes, young Daryl's. Oh, Matthew. sorry, Sid. He handballed it to oh, I didn't see that. He had was down. great I was, team I was spirit. giving it to... Uh, yeah, Matt, well, Greenwood was going to kick it, but little Matthew is standing two foot from him, so he handballed to him. Well, I was giving it to Greenwood. I did put my head down and put in the book to Greenwood, and he's handballed to little Sid. Little Sid, and little Sid in his first year of playing under-16s, up from the under-14s, has kicked a goal in a grand final. Good on, that's fantastic. And his fantastic. proud father, Darrell, is absolutely ecstatic. Well done to young Matthew. The Sid, number five, Jones. Back in the centre here as up North Geelong move on to 10 3, 63, Ocean Grove 4 3, 27. The ball's kicked out towards the centre wing. Here they go, Ocean Grove. A punch on by the young fellow there as he comes through hard. It's um, Andrew Sly. He's still going. He kicks it off the ground. Looking for his the big fellow down there. Cam, oh, I tell you, he's finally got a kick, Cullum Vale. It's been a long time. 
He gets it over to his teammate in Dirk Charlie. Dirk to Kirk, who's home? Where's the big fellow? He's not there. Jacob Navy tries to get it, they can't get it. Stacks on the mill. Great plays, out of bounds, I'd say. 17 minutes into this final quarter, about a minute to go. And, uh... Okay. It's been uh, a very good afternoon. I'm just going to, whilst we're waiting, while well, you keep calling Cogs and I'll just do, go through the best players between yeah, now and the end of the picked quarter. Picked up there by uh, Van Rick and the captain once again, another possession. It's only about a minute to half a minute. Yeah, the to blonde go. bombshell's got it. That's uh, Jackie Brown. He's actually kicked a goal. Jackie off. Brown, the blonde bombshell's had a shot. I'll tell you what, he's put it through. Yes. That takes Ocean Grove. They move on to 5 3 33. But North Geelong, well in front, 10 3 63. 30 points the margin. He's been a rock for him, this play. Yeah, Jackie Brown's been their best player, the Bon Bombshell. That's a siren sounds. And the Premiership Cup goes to North Geelong Magpies. Final scores here, North Geelong, 10-3-63. Defeated Ocean Grove, 5-3-33. In the leading image photographics, Cup Under-16, Division 3, Grand Final. Premiers, North Geelong. Uh, goal kickers for today's grand final for Ocean Grove, Jake Wilson kicked one, Jack Brown kicked one, Dirk Shilek kicked one and Joe John Westman kicked one for North Geelong. Math Matthew Jones was given that unselfish handball from Brad Greenwood to kick one in the last few minutes of play. The captain, Luke Van Creeken kicked one, Chris Marsden kicked one, Cameron Fletcher, who did a lot of work in the back half, kicked one. Connor Guerin kicked one, could have kicked more, had a couple more shots on goal. Dean Rockow kicked one, Greenwood kicked three, could have easily had four had he given that handball off, and Mitchell Troy kicked one. So it was a very good uh, effort for the Grubbers. Uh, better players, um, I thought that uh, Guy O'Keefe played well for the uh, Grubbers. Um, Matt Barry, Jack Brown, uh, were also Lee Walker were also good contributors. Whereas for North Geelong, I thought uh, Fletcher played a very serviceable game for them. Dean Rockow played a serviceable game, as did Greenwood, and uh, Daniel Key and Van Creek. Was, was impressive and too. Van Creek, the captain, played very well. But and you can probably say the better player on the ground. The best on the ground by a mile, I thought. We is thought number eleven. Number eleven, Daniel, Daniel Key, Key. Okay. the son of the legendary Malcolm Key. Okey dokey. The guest video, Norm Smith medalist. Okay, we'll be back shortly with the presentations. Matthew Moroni, very tough game for yeah. Matthew. Played a very solid game for him. Jack Hall played a good one. Christian yeah. Bowl did a couple of nice little things throughout Son the afternoon. Son of the legendary Carlo Bowl. Yes, yeah, Sid's little Sid. Little Kicked Sid. the goal oh, there right at the, the end, courtesy Great of Bradley stuff, Greenwood. Really. Fantastic. Great stuff. And he tried hard yeah. all day, little Sid. There's little Sid. Young Marsland, you got King hit behind the play. Yeah, King hit behind the play. Weak as water that was. The King hey, these Ocean right. Grove boys are walking off. That's not very nice. Yeah, disgraceful. I thought you'd stay on and watch all this. Fletcher kicked a goal. Brainy, Brain Biviano was good in defence. Connor Gear on the big number, the yeah, big the plugger big up there. The big plugger. Kicked the goal kicked for him. Kicked the goal for him, yep. That's pretty ordinary by Ashton Grove walking off. And Daniel Key, the, the uh, winner of the uh, media medal today, was absolutely sensational. My word. Ryan Beggs tried hard for them all day. Jarrett, yep, well done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he played a very good son game. Son of a legendary Billy. Rucked all day and great player. Great game. Jay Turner, yep, well done, Jay. Number 16, 
Oh, a little yeah. rocky. A little rocky. He's put very his, solid. Put his body on the line yeah, all day. He for was the good. He was fantastic. He was bloody good. Yep, booted his 40th goal for the season today with his with four, his four, four yes. goals. Fantastic effort up in the forward line. And very unselfish to give little sit a goal. Little sit goal, correct. Yep, young Troy, good player, strong player. Yeah. Yeah, good across Wolfie, half back. Yep, Play a very stuff. solid go. Yep, Shaney Walsh. And this last bloke they're going to give a medal to before the captain. Gee, he was tough. Yeah, I, I think he's a relation to Dick Philpot. Oh, he's he coming across. He, he fell over. That's what Dick would do too. I knew that had happened. Give it well, a kiss. He son. was very strong. He went right in under the packs. Yeah, yeah. Right on the North That's a uh, guy there. Is that the guy from leading image photographic? That's correct, yeah. <coughs> yeah, well done, Craig. Done a good job, Craig, with those yeah, boys. My word. Done a great job. Yeah, well deserved, boys. <laughs> They're all eager, these boys. Look, I know, I know John Etzel says that the losing side doesn't stay out, but I've noticed over the two days that Ocean Grove have been the only club to go that's in. That's correct. I think oh, that's personally, very I think it's disappointing, but it is. it's a personal decision. Well, if that's the way Ocean Grove do it, no wonder they won't win grand finals from now on. I know they've won a heap in the seniors and that, but... Been a bad weekend for them this weekend, yeah. but they're, they're a good club. They're a good club, for sure. Yeah. Great to see a GDFL club get up and beat a, a ballerine club in a in a grand final in junior football. Yeah, you'd say that, Cozy. That's been waiting for a long time for it to happen. There's a happy bunch of boys there. I remember when the Belmont Lions under 15s beat North Shore with Jeremy Babb kicking the winning goal, and wasn't that great that day? Beating a GFL club. There they go. The, the champagne will be flowing tonight for these boys. They're under 16s, Brian. They That's don't exactly drink. Exactly right, but. Daryl, Sid Jones and Malcolm Key and Steve Jansen and the boys at Osmond Park with Dick Philpott eating his 57th pie for the afternoon. Mr well, Maroney. Mr Maroney, they'll have a drink, don't worry about that. <laughs> My word. Thank you very much and well done to Norchalong. <laughs> 